Hi, and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be reviewing the His Fair Assassin trilogy by Robin Lefevers. The first book in this series is Grave Mercy. The second book is Dark Triumph. And the third and final book in the series is Mortal Heart, which comes out today. So first I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on this series as a whole, and then I'm going to get into my thoughts on the most recent release. So this series is a historical fiction series. It is set back in the Middle Ages, and it focuses on a convent dedicated to the Saint of Death. And back in this time period there are saints, saints for many different things such as death, and deception and many people kind of pledge their lives in service to these saints and the convent that we focus on is the convent of Saint Mortain which is the patron saint of death and this convent takes in many girls that have lived very horrible lives and they kind of the convent saves them from their horrible lives and in turn they dedicate themselves to the saint of death and they act really as assassins and go out and kill people that have done some very bad things so i read the first book in this series grave mercy about a year and a half ago and i absolutely loved it i'd have to say that the first one is my favorite book in the series the first book focuses on a girl named Ismay and she was just forced into an awful marriage and the convent takes her in and she is forced to kind of go to the court in this time period and deal with a bunch of political affairs. What I really loved about the first book is that it was just such a really interesting story. There was so much political intrigue which is something I'm personally interested in. It had a very good romance and a strong female character. If you like strong female characters that can take care of themselves you will love this series. The the amazing thing about this series is that it focuses on a different girl in each book so it's kind of like a companion series but in the end all of the girl stories do kind of come together and I think that they are all very unique characters and all great in their own way. So I give the first book in this series, Grave Mercy, a 5 out of 5 stars. I'm going to be talking about the second book which is Dark Triumph and I'm not going to be spoiling any of these books in this review and the this book focuses on a girl named Sibella and she had such an awful childhood she had such abusive parents and siblings and she runs away to the convent and she also has her own journey that she has to go through and I think this is probably the darkest book in the series this dealt with some very dark and kind of terrible topics. This one was a bit hard to get through. I think this book was my least favorite in the series probably because of that, although I still did love this story and I really loved how the main character Sabella really found herself and kind of made her way out of the darkness. I gave this book a three and a half out of five stars. And last but not least, I'm going to be reviewing the most recent book in the series, which is Mortal Heart. And this book was actually sent to me for review by Hute and Mifflin, so thank you to them for sending me this book. Now, I really enjoyed this book. This focuses on a girl named Aneth, and for her entire life, she has been stuck at the convent, and it has been her dream to go out and kind of go on a mission. And they have never called her to do that, until she finds out that maybe the convent isn't as good as it seems, and she kind of goes out on her own. And I really liked Aneth, although at the beginning of the book it was a little bit slow and I felt like Aneth was very whiny but once she kind of get, got a hold of her situation she really took control and I really liked a lot of the characters in this book. Her love interest is very interesting and you find out a lot of interesting things about him and this book did also feature a lot of appearances from the two other characters that are featured in the other books and their stories really did come together and I really thought that this was a good conclusion to the series. It wrapped up everything pretty nicely and I ended up giving this book four out of five stars. If you like historical fiction series or series where characters kick butt, then I would definitely recommend checking out the His Fair Assassin trilogy by Robin Lefevers. If you've read this trilogy, let me know in the comments down below. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again soon.